Yo, what is up, everybody? I'm Beetle5, and welcome to Ripest of Fears. Now, most of you may be wondering why I'm playing this game, since it's not really meant to be played by anybody other than Markiplier, because, for those of you who don't know, Ripest of Fears is the fan-made horror game created for Markiplier, about and about Markiplier. And, you know, he, he left the script a download link for it in his description below, so, you know, he meant for anybody to play it. So I don't really feel guilty playing it, but... Still, I just love Markiplier so much. He's by far the greatest YouTuber ever to live. And he's just such a nice person, and I just love him to pieces. And I know he's going through a difficult time right now with him losing his friend Dan from uh, Syndigo. I'll leave a link to the description below about the whole situation about it. And I just thought a better way to show that his fans are there for him with me being a big fan of his than to play one of his games about him. I just love him so much. So, let's just get this game started. Ah, boy. Alright. What is needed rather than running away or controlling or suppressing or any other resistance is understanding fear. That means watch it, learn about it, and come directly into contact with it. We are to learn about fear, but not how to escape from it. Chidu Krishma Rudy. It's a weird name. Oh, excuse me. Um, I don't remember sleeping here last night. Now that I think about it, I don't remember going to sleep at all last night. Isn't that just Markiplier? I better look around a bit first. I need to figure out what's going on here. Cause I am Markiplier! Whoopee! I s it Seems. Like this place has been abandoned for some time. Yes, it does. Dear Mark, I've been watching you for some time now, and you have sparked my interest. You've been brought here to participate in an experiment. I will be watching your fears become a reality as I sit and track your progress. You weren't the first to attempt these trials, and you won't be the last. These trials won't be easy, but I'll allow you the pleasure of choosing your own path along the way. It's up to you to embrace your fears or be consumed by them. If you have any doubts to how very real these threats could be then, please don't blame me when you end up torn apart. I wish you luck along the way because you'll certainly need it. Sincerely, Dr. Breen. Who is this Dr. Breed? What exactly does he help to achieve with this? Well, for now, I guess I'll play along with his games. I don't really have much of a choice right now. No, you do not. You know, for once, I can actually say that was the wind. <laughs> what is happening? This can't possibly be real. I feel like I'm in some kind of horror. Um, no. No, Mark, you're not in a horror game. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not being controlled by moving the arrow keys left, down, up, and right, and such and things. This will be your first opportunity to choose your fate. The door to your left will lead you to a trial where you will confront your inner demons. The door on the right will lead you to a trial of survival where you will confront the demon lurking in the forest. Which are you more afraid of? The evil residing in the forest or in your own mind? I'll be awaiting your decision with anticipation. Okay, well, it's obvious that the door on the right is Slaughterman, be with the demon in the forest. But I don't know what could be the demon in the mind, so I'm curious as to what that is. I really hate mannequins. <laughs> ah, Markiplier references are the best. Yes, I get it, you hate mannequins. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I don't like mannequins either. Okay. <laughs> Where's the blacksmith? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be funny if this game does that a lot. What dark thoughts haunt your subconscious mind? Aren't we all afraid of ourselves sometimes and what we're capable of? Look deep into the mirror before you and embrace your darker side, or turn your back on it and let it fester. I'll let you decide your fate. Okay. Look into the mirror. Hold on. Hold on. I know that in this game, as are or the many other games, I want to get into the habit of saving this as much as I possibly can. Look in the mirror. Here we go. Whoa. What is this place? Oh ho, I'd be tripping. Crazy tripping. Who is <laughs> 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 this mark with red eyes? That was amusing. What? I don't quite feel like myself. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I've been having strange dreams lately. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Bree was talking about. That's hilarious. Oh, hello. That was a clony clone of myself over there. Oh, the mirror. Let's just get out of here if we could. In this crazy parallel dimension. Look in the mirror. 
<laughs> Hi, Mark. It's the last live stream today. If anyone misses it, I remember this video. They, they might, might as, as well, well be, be dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's a warm stash. Oh my god. Why well, was it so bad? My thoughts exactly. That was, that was more amusing than it was scary. Oh, hello. How many Mark clones am I gonna see here? It looks like an old piano. No shit, it's an old piano. <laughs> I'm happy that you managed to make it to your first test. It was only get harder from here, and the threats will become even greater. You have seen nothing of what's yet to come. The next choice will be an interesting one to see want to see play out. I'm enjoying the show so far and hope I will continue to be entertained. Alright. Good to know that I'm nothing but a- Whoa. I don't like little girls. I'm not that kind of person. Okay. Oh shit, that wall says go to sleep. I know what that means. You probably already realized this, but there was only one door to go through this time. Don't mistake this as me taking away your freedom of choice that I said I would give you. The door to your left will lead you down to a maze that will travel through with the lantern provided. The choice in this test, specifically, is what path you will take to get through it. Every new branchy pathway can lead to a way out, a dead end, or something far less pleasant. The choices you make while wandering in the maze should not be taken lightly. Take your time, and don't forget that I'll be watching. Wait, what's in the bookshelf? <clears throat> you searched the bookshelf and found a note protruding out what... Out that was slid between two books. Hidden note. How could any of this be real? I've been wandering for what seems like days. I have no knowledge as to how I ended up here, but I remember that I was on my way to work and there was this strange flash of light. My memory is blank beyond that, but there must be something more. I swear that this place has a mind of its own because every time I exit the room, it seems as if the room itself changes behind me. I feel like I'll go insane if I stay here any longer. I got a bad feeling about Dr. Breen and what his true motives actually are. All I know is that when I find that son of a bitch, he will pay for all of this. According to his notes, I'm apparently not his only captive. I heard other people shouting and screaming here too. One guy seemed to be shouting, I'm king of the squirrels! For some odd reason or another. I'll stick this note somewhere safe on the off chance someone will find it. Well, guess what, buddy? I just found it. So good job placing that note in there. Because that was rather nice. Oh. Lantern. I want that. I went over all the trivial things in my last note to you, but there's something else you should know. There is someone in the maze that you should tr best try and avoid. He isn't happy that your YouTube channel has very little videos involving games inspired by him. Jeff wants to show you exactly why he is meant to be feared. Hold ship to run, okay. Well, you know what? I gotta say, Markiplier is not the only person who really doesn't, is not into Jeff the Killer games. He is really not a very popular creepypasta. I mean, I'm not a big fan of him. I can't really imagine how too many people who are- Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> Hi, Jeff! Whoa! Uh, I never got to save. Alright, uh, do remember the fix that helped. I'll just be right back then. I don't want to waste your guys' time. Alright, now I'm back here, back in here again. So let's just run back through the maze. Hopefully I'll just take a different path this time. I'm not going to go down. Let's try going right and down this way. Oh, hi! I heard you don't like games inspired by me. Are you jealous of my beauty? Don't worry, I'll make you beautiful too. I'll give you five seconds to run before I come after you. I always enjoy the thrill of a chase. I will kill you. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 Fuck that voice. No way. No way in hell. No, get away from you. Okay, no, 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 go. I heard you. I don't care. I don't care! I don't want no know where your mommy is! Why do you avoid me? I just wanted to be beautiful like me, but now I'm going to chase you down and murder you, so I think it's more fun and okay, I'll run for my life now. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, I like this music. I really like this music now, it's really fucking cool. It's going to be the little rhyme, but what the fuck do I do? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Ah! <laughs> fuck! Oh my god. Alright, I think I think I saw a door there. That was my own stupidity. I probably should have run towards it. Let's try that again. I saved this time. I'm I'm not I'm not forgetting. Okay, let's run around the entire stairs before we actually go down it. Should have done it a third time to make sure nobody I loved that. Oh wait, no, Jeff's down here. Jeff's down here. No 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 no. Let's go this way. I don't I don't ride the Jeff again. 
I'm sure it'll automatically trigger if I go this way anyway. So, the little girl's down there too. So, fuck the little girl. Let's go this way. Here we go. Yes, I get it. I don't really want to look beautiful. I'm sorry. Not that it isn't that you're not beautiful, Jeff. It's just, you know. I kind of like how I look already, thanks. Let's go the fuck this way. And it's right here, right here, right here. I don't ha there's, there's a door. Oh, there's a door. Thank God. Oh, shit. Magic locked door behind you. Woo! I do suggest you suck on that, Chef. Oh, boy. Better gotta read these bookshelves. You found something that caught your eye. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Let's read it. The Legend of Slenderman. Little Bobby Brownie went to the woods one day to play a game with his imaginary friend. Him and his friend played hide and seek at various other games until sunset. When he thought it was time to head back home, but as Bobby began walking, he grew increasingly frightened as he lost his way. Complete darkness eventually overcame his vision, as he stood still frozen from fright. Lucky for him that he came prepared with a flashlight and took it out to lighten up his way. Although he had light, it seemed like it wasn't getting it anywhere, and his fright still increased. He stumbled upon an odd looking tube, but it appeared to be unknown on the side. He examined it closely and he saw a picture of a man with no face and tentacles for arms. The results the word no printed on the note multiple times. His heartbeat began to rise as he started to panic. He turned around to come face to face with the embodiment of the person he had seen on the note. He looked away and ran as fast as he could if he could take him. Taking deep breaths with every step he took, he knew of the legend of the Slender Man very well due to his grandparents always making it clear to never go into the woods at night, especially alone. Bobby never really believed that it was that it was real despite kids going missing around his little town. The one thing he knew for certain was that never to look directly at him, otherwise he would take you to a dark place and never be seen again. His little legs grew tired and he fell to the ground. He glanced over his shoulder to see if the man was still behind him, but despite his hopes he was still standing there. Bobby looked at Sledger's expressionless face and couldn't look away. Bobby screamed and screamed but to no avail because nobody could hear. His family grew worried as the days passed, but upon looking in the woods they found his clothes torn to shreds. <gasps> Whew. Okay. It's a long shit of words. I wonder if all these got nothing interesting here. Okay. You found something of interest. The story of Jet the Killer. Jeff and his family had moved to a new neighborhood and his dad had gotten a promotion at work and they thought it would be nice to live in one of those fancy neighborhoods. Jeff and his brother Kalu. Oh my god, I can't read all this. Say hello, I'm Barbara. Okay. This is just a kind of creepy pasta. Holy shit! They wanted me to. Oh my god! What the fuck? It, it, it wanted me to read all these fucking pages! This is. They, they just seriously copy and paste the Jeff the Killer creepypasta from the website and just placed it in here? It's still fucking going! I've never read the entire Jeff the Creepypasta, but Christ Almighty, now I'm not going to! Who could waste their time reading this whole fucking thing? Oh my god! It's still going! It is still fucking. No! Oh shit! That is awful! Uh, I don't want to. Alright, last one! Eyeless Jack. Uh, blah blah blah. I don't really know anything about Eyeless Jack, and I really don't care to. Holy shit. Even the Slender Man one, I was I was generous in reading. Okay. Okay, that one was not that bad. That one wasn't nearly that bad. Oh fuck! I hit it again! God damn it! Okay, well, still. The Jeff Killer one was by far the worst one. Finally, means that I'll encounter Eyeless Jack and Slendy Man. Feel free to stop and break a radio. No, I don't give a shit. No information is helpful in here. You're lying to me. What the hell is this? Why is there an empty room? Ow. The room suddenly went pitch black and you tried to pull out your lantern, but you were hit in the head with something heavy. Oh dear. I bet it hurt. As you drifted back and forth from consciousness, you saw something staring over you. Oh, hello. Oh. What? Where am I now? Why does my lower back hurt more than my head? I think I should examine myself in that mirror over there. Good idea. Let's examine myself. You examine yourself and notice that you have a soon up incision where one of your kidneys were. Oh shit. <laughs> I took my kidney. Is this the work of Violet's Jack? I don't really know. Nope! Bobby Cra- Nope! <laughs> nope! Not gonna do it! I'd be crazy to check that treasure! Bye bye Oh, hello. There are several doors in front of you. You must figure out this puzzle and choose the correct door to continue along the way. Think carefully because everything is not as it seems. Alright. The man has his back to the path you seek. The woman looks towards the path you seek. Flower lies in the middle to show the way. 
The queen looks away and hides her secret. Tell me your secrets! <laughs> That's funny. Okay. But you know what, though? I'm going to say... It's probably here. Whoa! The fuck? Such as Eyeless Jack? Okay. Guess that wasn't a door. You might, I might as well just play trial and error at this point. No! Oh! Slenderman! Oh, hi! Okay! Now I'm just curious as to what's behind all of them. <laughs> Let's look at the man who has his back turned. Oh. Up and up! Fine. Let's go in here. Who's in here? Jeff the Killer? Hi, Jeff! Seems that you picked the wrong door. Now I can put a smile on that face of yours. Yay! Let's put a smile on that face. Alright. That's fine. I'm a dummy. What the fuck's this? Strange that this is ripped down. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that seems so fucking obvious. Why didn't I see that before? Jesus Christ. It's you again. The one who did something to me while I was asleep. What do you want now? Eyeless Jack? Is that, is that Eyeless Jack? I'm not really familiar with this story. Come on, Mark, wake up. He's been out for so long. I hope he's okay. I think it might be waking up, Darren. Darren! Oh, I knew you would wake up sometime. And Celeste, you gave us all a pretty big scare when you went off like that. And who are you? And I'm Mark, it's me, Darren, and your other friends, Celeste and Michael. Did you hit your head or something? I do remember you from somewhere. You were in that game I played a while ago, but how are you here in front of me? What game are you talking about, Mark? You started to scare me a little. I think he lost his mind on the trip down here. We came up to this cabin to go camping, you remember? Right. I know what you're talking about, but I remember you guys in the game I played. This doesn't make sense to me at all. I think Mark is just pulling a joke on us. We'll just leave and give you some space so you can get awake. Come out and chat with us when you're ready. Okay. Take your time. We're not going anywhere. This doesn't seem right at all. There isn't any notes for Breen around like usual. These guys seem genuine enough, but something isn't right with them. Well, this is mighty suspicious. And Didi. Here, what's in the little box? You found a flare gun. <gasps> Yay! You should have. Oh, okay. It's 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 the poofer, right? Poof! Poof! <laughs> I only got the poofer. It's fucking awesome. That's the views. We found a book titled Joe the Skinwalker. No, I'm through reading all the creepy pastas. I feel like something is telling me to turn on the TV. Yeah, but I'm hungry. I found it odd that a cabin in the middle of nowhere has electricity. <laughs> I don't remember his oldest of oldest videos. I mean, I just haven't watched him in a long time, but um, I'm guessing this is all references. Every single quote he says are all references to other games he's played. Right. A while later, <laughs> it was obvious Darren had no idea where we were going. He was swearing and looking all around. <laughs> We have been walking for an awfully long time now. Are you sure we're on the right path, Darren? I've walked this path hundreds of times. We're on the right path. I don't recognize anything from when we were walking <laughs> to camp, though. I said we're on the right path! But as time went on, it became <laughs> obvious that Darren had no idea where we were. Wasn't that what you just said? I'm hilarious. Darren couldn't find the path. Maybe it was the fog, maybe the darkness, maybe something else. Either way, we were lost. <laughs> you I smell funny, Mark. Me. I was having that feeling where you think someone is watching or stalking you. I nearly tripped over Celeste when she fell. Help Celeste up. No! No! I, I'm actually gonna do no. No. She took her head and got to her feet. <laughs> the ground was getting muddy. It was giving even missier. Celeste can pick herself up. She does. Hmm. <laughs> okay. That was an odd time to cut off. This confirms that I'm not crazy, but this raises even more questions. I doubt that any of my friends could tell me what's going on. All right. This is not crazy. Is this a SNES? This reminds me of my childhood of how much I truly love playing video games. I know, right? Kind of looks like an N64, a, a white N64. <laughs> they did their best to digitally edit. Uh, S N S. So around here, I'm. Uh, oh fuck! Oh wait, Mark's journal. Okay. 
I can't believe my friends convinced me to come with them. They know how much I hate camping, but they just continue to bug me until I agreed. I might as well try and have some fun while I'm here. If only I brought my laptop so I could at least record a few videos for YouTube. <laughs> June 6. I feel like my friends seem a bit different since we got here. They look at me with this odd look that makes me feel like they're planning something. June 7. I can't trust any of them. They're not my friends. I swear I seen them last night standing over me while I slept. I don't know what's going on. I have to get out here before something bad happens. This is my journal. I don't remember writing any of this. It's even written in my handwriting, but how? I'll take this as a warning to get the hell out of here as soon as possible. Smart idea, Mark. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck is this? Look closely at jar to see a half eat. Ow, my kidney! Yeah, I kind of like my kidney back, if I could, you know. It's in here. There's a present in here. I wonder who it's for. Alright, uh, I have a few ideas of what these are for. I. Oh wait, are, they, are those like bongs or something? I can't, I can barely see them. Uh, all right, let's go this way. Oh hi guys, hi my so-called friends. Hey, could you please get that present I have for Darren? It's his birthday next Tuesday. I need to find a better hiding place. Where is it? Just go back to the door and you came and take a left. Take a left. Um, you mean go down? But oh well, see, as I'm playing this game from a top view, I guess from their point of view, left wouldn't make sense. All right, so let's go give the present for Darren. Well, I'm, I mean, I guess I'm just gonna give it to Celeste, whatever. Here you go, Celeste, here's a present. Thank you, Mark. Just have to show her own feet. No, the video said not to. I'm not gonna. She shakes her hand and gives you an odd looking glare before she gets back herself to her feet. Something isn't right with you guys. We're your friends, Mark. There's nothing weird about us. I beg to differ. I know what you're up to. I thought the Celeste just tripped over her own feet like she did. All of you are planning to kill me, aren't you? We're not trying to kill- What the hell just happened? What the hell? Oh god, hello! I grow tired of playing these games. It's time for Mark to join us or die. I agree. The boredom was starting to become unbearable. Your, your faces, what happened? Oh, Celeste looks scary. We simply changed it to our normal farm. I've had enough of this standing around. It's time to join us die. Uh, no, I don't want to join you. Join us, Mark. Join us, Mark. Join us, Mark! Go! Get the hell away from me! What? Suddenly I lost consciousness. Am I dying? You wick in the dark room. Can I at least stay in one place for more than ten minutes? I bet he'll still have that lantern. I hope I'm close to getting the hell out of here because this is making less and less sense as I continue to move forward. That's nice. All right. Oh, hello. You probably have a lot of questions on your mind right now, but I promise that they will be answered soon. Complete this next challenge, and I'll give you the opportunity to have them answered. Okay, talk to Breen. All right. That's it. That's unfortunate. Uh, a lot of doors here. The main element of this challenge is confrontation. The door on your left will have you face Sunderman. The door on your right will have you face Chef the Killer. Both doors are currently locked, and you will have to obtain the key by other means. Begin your search and confront your ripest of fears. Ha! Ha! They said the name of the game! Ha! Alright, what the fuck is this? Plus, I could show you a drink right about now. Damn it. Why does this door have to be locked? Can I go this way? Okay. What does this say? Creature with no eyes may only be pleased by giving him a fresh human heart. Do him this favor, and he'll give you the key to unlock the path to face Jeff the killer. Alright, well, you know what? <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> oh, jeez, I have a cough. Okay, I guess I'm looking for a human heart then. Can I go? Wait, can I go in this door? Hold on. Okay, I'm okay, so the guy. Is this Eyeless Jack? The figure in front of you stares at you with malicious intent. So you want me to do something for you, is this right? The figure can stare at you. Alright, I guess I gotta give him a heart. Cause honestly, I wanna fight Jeff. I kinda- I sort of like Slender Man, and I don't have- Um... I want my teddy bear. Uh, I'm, just, I'm gonna get away from you. One- one fucked up thing at a time. Find a lost friend and return to his restless soul to unlock the pathway to the demon that fa Okay, I see you know. I'm guessing all these doors have something locked. It's useless. Okay, wait, here we go. Downstairs key, alright. No, alright. I'm gonna go downstairs. There'll probably be the human heart. 
or the teddy bear, and I'll just get the shoes, which way I want to go. And I want to fight Jeff. Here we go. Human heart. What does it say? Due to a recent incident, the bar will remain closed until further notice. All employees are to move the any alcohol into the back room. Someone also needs to go clear the guest room. One of our last guests seems to have left behind her teddy bear and a puddle of blood. Woman Bates. Okay. Hardly much of a scary challenge this is. Unless the challenge... Oh no, my challenge is that I gotta fight Jeff or Slendy Man. Where... Where'd he go? I'm not really comfortable around this mirror. Where'd he go? The truth. Everything is a lie, nothing's real. I'm just strange even for this place. Nothing in this place makes any sense. Maybe there's something I'm missing. A health potion? Oh! Am I getting a shitload of health potions by doing this? <laughs> That's helpful. Okay, well, where the fuck is Eilish Jack? Maybe I have to read the note first. What the fuck? Where'd he go? I got the human heart! Oh! Um, okay. Alright, Jeff. Let's do this! I didn't plan on running away this time. I'm here to confront you. Looks like I have a second chance of killing you. Don't run off again like you did before. You just made this more interesting. I always like the ones that have a bit of fight left in them. Alright, Jeff. Let's do this! It's like Pokemon! I'm good at Pokemon. Poof! What? He took no damage. Well, that's not good. I have no specials. Uh. This music. I fucking love it. Alright. Oh, he evaded the attack! Oh! Oh! Well, you know what? I have a big health bar. What am I worried? Come on! Hit him! Attack! There you go! He took the damage. Alright. Oh! 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 Whoa! Whoa! Mar Jeff gets to attack like five times in a row! Alright. Come on. Well, at least he's gonna be giving me like little bits of damage where I can deal at least 300 to him. Damn it! And then, and then there's that where nothing happens. Eight damage, eight damage. All right. I think he'll give before I will. There we go. Look at that. I'll definitely beat. I will definitely beat him first. My poofer is strong enough. Which leads me to the question: How would I fight him if I didn't pick up the, the poofer before? Poof! All right, Jeff. I'm taking you down. Nobody likes your YouTube videos, Jeff. I'm gonna beat you! Oh! A direct hit! That took like over a thousand damage! Son of a bitch! Why, when did I hit him in his fucking face? You are so done, Jeff. Oh! Oh, he evaded the attack! Cause Mark is quick, baby! Oh, 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 what was that? You missed? You missed there, Mr. Jeffy Jeff! Alright. I'm getting a little low on health here, but you have to be at your limit by now. I kinda wish I could see your health bar. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Stay down. Oh, shit. That was a big one. Can I use a health? Oh, I can use a health potion! Ha <laughs> ha! What? What was that? Oh! Huh? That, you know what that was? I'm, I am a metapod, and you just kept hitting me and hitting me, and I just fucking used the max potion, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chance in hell of you beating me. Alright. Come on. Come on. I'm taking it down, Jeff. This music is so awesome. Oh my god, you are a tough slut of a bitch. Come on. Stay down already, will ya? Yeah! Jeff the Killer is slain! <laughs> oh yeah! Glad I finally shut him up. Oh man, I need more days like that. This will be your last and most important choice. The door to your right is the exit out of here and you're free to leave. But if you wish to want to take revenge on me for everything I put you through, then proceed to the door on the left. The truth of why you're really here and where you actually are will be explained no matter what choice you make. The real question is, do you seek freedom or vengeance? Well, since I'm the better man, 
I just seek freedom. Could you come talk to me a moment? I will answer all of your questions. Sure. Are you Dr. Breen? Um, I'm facing the other direction. <laughs> you probably have a lot of questions what's, what's going on. A lot more than you could probably answer. I'm not sure I really want to talk to you. You can't possibly think that I'm this Breen person I claim to be. He was merely just a character from the Half-Life 2 video game I knew it. Um, I can't help but notice that this person and Mark's faces look exactly the same. <laughs> that still doesn't explain where I am exactly. So you haven't figured it out yet. Well, the short answer would be that you're very far from any kind of reality. Everything has merely just been in your head. So this is a dream then? No, it's more complicated than that. Let's just say that you've been in purgatory. Purgatory? So I've been dead the whole time? No, that's not really correct either. You have been going back and forth between life and death. At the beginning of all this, you almost did die. How did you even get into this mess? Well, you went into cardiac arrest while playing a horror game made by one of your fans. <laughs> You're being rushed to the hospital right now. All of this happened in a matter of a few minutes? Exactly. Your mind has been wandering and trying to grasp onto reality. You may have noticed that some of your surroundings have resembled games. They were both games I played recently on my YouTube channel. The games were Skinwalker and The Crooked Man. Yeah, I remember those. The closer you were to reality, the more recent those games got. Your conscience was fighting to hang on to reality. So, am I going to live or not? Being here in front of me proves that the world still needs Markiplier. If you choose to seek vengeance, or chose, then that would have meant that you accepted death. Well, I did not. Choosing to leave meant that you rejected this reality and seeked freedom from it. You chose correctly and have not accepted death. That's good to know, but who are you exactly? I'm merely just a part of your subconscious mind. I've just been helping you through this. Why did you make it seem like I was in danger in the first note in your first note to me? You were in danger, Mark. If I told you that nothing was real from the very start, then you wouldn't have proceeded the same way or wouldn't have moved at all. So I pretty much had to piece it all together myself. That is exactly right. You got here because you weren't ready to die, and you have plenty of great things you have yet to do. Well, I am pretty awesome. Yes, you are. So it wouldn't be a big surprise how did even death could go against me. And you smell against wrong. You really do have an ego the size of the moon, don't you? You really can't blame me for that, right? <laughs> no, I sure can't. And neither could your 900,000 feet. Fucking subscribers, baby, and rising. You have more at this point already, Markiplier. You're already up to nine billion. I think it's finally time I got out of here. It was nice talking to myself, I suppose. I'm happy to hear it. Just proceed to the forest, and you'll drift back to reality. Good luck with getting one million subscribers. Thanks. I hope to talk to you again if I end up nearly scared to death again. I hope that won't happen again anytime soon. Goodbye until then. Wow. Welcome to the Hall of Markiplier. Oh, I've seen these fan art. Oh, it's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> You'd better be. <laughs> so you are saying that Slenderman is behind me? <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, I was, a, pfft, I was supposed to read it the other way. I'm dummy. <laughs> oh, with these with. Oh my god, that's so neat. Markiplier. Oh god, shut up, Hart! Stop beating! Stop it! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Ooh. My name is Markiplier, and we just hit 25,000 subscribers. But I just wanted to take a moment to reintroduce myself. My name is Markiplier, but that's just my handle. My full name is Mark Fishbach. I'm a biomedical engineering student from the University of Cincinnati, and I'm introduced. Hello, Hello everybody! everybody. <laughs> wow, well, did not mean to synchronize. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to our 30,000 subscriber vlog where we... Hello everybody, we just hit 40,000 subscribers. That's an incredible number. That's that, that's a big number. That we is. just hit 45,000 subscribers uh, last night. It's been a crazy ride to get here so quickly. And I don't even know how it happened. But I know that you did it. We've been getting about 1,000 subscribers a day, plus or minus, for the past few weeks. And that's not an exaggeration because we were just at 50,000 uh, two weeks ago. I'm king of the squirrel! <laughs> uh, it was, this channel is the reason why I get up in the morning. And the reason why I lose sleep at night. Because if I'm not doing anything or talking to people, and I spend a lot more time talking to people, and I'm happy about that. Um, I'm thinking about the channel almost 24 hours a day. I just want to work on it. And I want to make content for you guys. And I want to do this for a long time. And I want to do more. 
I want to do better videos. I want to do bigger things. I want to make my own stuff. And I believe that anyone can. Thank you guys so much for everything. You guys are literally the best fans in the world. I couldn't ask for like anything more from you because so I want to be worthy of your time. So thank you all. Thank, thank you truly from the bottom of my heart. I cannot thank you enough. I want to thank you each individually, but it, it's sad to see some things go that come with a smaller channel. But the benef the potential benefit that outweighs uh, what there used to be, is just too high. You, you can't escape that. Oh, man. Um. <laughs> if, um. If you guys have no idea what's going on right now, um. I just watched my. Well, not mine. Um. A thank you video from my fans. From you guys, and. It was, um, it's, it's, it's probably the greatest present I've ever gotten. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. It took 10 months to get the first 100,000 subscribers, and we got the next 100,000 in less than two. You guys are more powerful than you know. You can move mountains if you wanted to. You just gotta work together. And I am so grateful for what you've done to change my life. And I know that together, we can work to change the world. Hello everybody, Markiplier here. Um, we just hit 300,000 subscribers, which is an absolutely incredible thing if you think about it because we got, we hit 200,000 subscribers on March 24th, which means that in less than a month, uh, we have gotten 100,000 subscribers. Really, uh, be a force for good, so. Um, from from the bottom of my heart, I, I really do appreciate all that you've done for me. Um, I think back to some of the amazing videos that people have made for me. Um, it's showing their gratitude for me, which is absolutely ridiculous because I have nothing. I have nothing really uh, to show for that because I'm the only one who feels indebted to you guys because. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to raise the over $48,000 for charity. Um, we wouldn't be able to increase our goal month on month because we raised $15,000 this month. I don't see any reason why we can't raise $20,000 next month. And then I don't see why we can't keep raising it month after month, getting more and more for charity. And, and that, that really holds a special place in my heart. You guys are the best fans ever. And you've been pushing me to be the best YouTuber ever. So I'm not going to quit. So thanks for believing me. And stick around for more awesome videos. Because I'm going to win. Yeah! Whoa. This is the first video I've ever done. It was rough, crude, the commentary was stiff, and I was nervous. I also only had an audience of one. Only my best friend was a subscriber. But it didn't matter, because I enjoyed it. I wanted to do more. I never really expected to go anywhere with it. You know, I looked up to the big YouTubers. So, I made a compilation. And somehow, that video drew attention. And suddenly, I had a few hundred subscribers, and that was a huge number to me. Incredible, really. So, I kept at it. Yeah, all right. Next came oh. Penumbra, oh, Nightmare friend? House, Cry of Fear, oh, and the Custom Stories. God, I love the Amnesia Custom Stories. Just being able to entertain you guys day by day is the greatest feeling in the world. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. I couldn't tell you exactly when it started growing exponentially, but it did. Slender came along, SCP. My reaction compilations were a big hit. I kept at it, and you guys kept at it. You, all of you, are the reason why I'm enjoying any success today, and I never, ever want to forget that or where I came from. This has all happened so fast. But it doesn't matter because I'm not going to change. Now the day has gone by that I haven't thought about how far I've come. So thank you. 
It's been a crazy ride to get here so quickly, and I don't even know how it happened. But I know that you did it. Because you guys were sharing my videos every single day, and just enjoying commenting and liking. It's... It's been... Incredible. You've changed my life in more ways than you know. So thank you all. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Dear Mark, I never thought that I would find a channel on YouTube like yours. There's a reason why your fans support and like you as much as they do. It's because you show more appreciation for us than any other YouTuber has. Just the fact that you took the time to play through this game I created for you shows how much you truly care about your fans. I know you say you can never repay your fans for their support, but I believe that you have in your own way. You represent the best part of the gaming community. You've shown everyone that someone can take a love for something and turn it into something that helps others. The positive message you send by doing the charity that you do and building this community that you have has given us something that we can never repay you for. Thank you for all of the hours of entertainment and showing us all that we can band together for the greater good. Sincerely, your fans. And as a fan, I could just say I, I could vouch for that. He he, he really has repaid us so much. He he, he always says how he, he's not good enough, but he is. <laughs> Sorry. I really I really do like him. I love him a lot. And he's just, he's he's inspired me to be a YouTuber. And even right now, I only have 38 subscribers and I don't give a fuck how many subscribers I get. <laughs> I like doing this. This is just fun. And that's why I look up to Markiplier so much. He was nothing and now, now he's something far more than any of us could ever possibly imagine. And I'm not looking to become Markiplier. It's, I mean, if I do get big, that's great, but I'm not going to want fame to come to me. But still, Markiplier, just, I love you to pieces. I really do. Y you have truly inspired me to go above and beyond with my YouTube channel. I, even right now, I'm spending all of my money that I'm getting from my one job just for all on more equipment just to make my channel better. Just so I could be like you, Mark. And if you happen to be watching this, just <laughs> thank you for even watching this. <laughs> it, it, it's just, it's such, it's such an honor. Just, I'm, I love him so much. And if you've been watching through this whole video and you have no idea who the fuck I'm even talking about or who Markiplier even is, I'll leave you a link to the greatest YouTuber and the greatest man in the world. So, thank you guys so much for watching me and thank you guys for so much for watching Markiplier. I know he loves it just as much as I do. So, thank you so much for watching. You don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of what else I should play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!